Hi there, welcome to our news troubleshoot video series where we go over some of the most frequently asked questions regarding my name's calendar and try to get you up to speed on how to resolve them. My name is Hakan from Web News Team. Welcome back to our channel. In this video today, we're gonna go over what to do when your existing events aren't displayed in your calendar shortcuts. It's a bit of a tricky process, so make sure you pause and retrace some of the steps we go over. Let's get started. This is one of the most common issues that Mac users, especially Mac Lite users, run into that is mostly due to their WordPress structure. As you can see in the Mac overview window, the number of events is displayed as zero, and the dreadful no even found message is also present. But before we get started with the technical steps, let's make sure of a few things. First, we'll go to all events menu and check up on our events to make sure that their dates are not expired and we're actually dealing with upcoming events. Unless you've actually defined your calendar shortcut to display expired events, but in this scenario, we are running the default show only upcoming events calendar. But here we see that the event date is expired, but when we head to the repeating tab, we see that daily repeat is active for it with no end in sight. Meaning that regardless of the event's expired initial date, we should have daily instances of it occupying our calendar. Now that we've made sure that our event should be displayed, we have to make some changes to our WordPress database by deleting Mac table lines and redefining them. For starters, you'll need to head over to webnews.net and download the latest version of Mac, whether Lite or the Pro version if you're a paid member. Next, extract the context, uh, contents of the zip file, open the folder and head to Assets then SQL and open the install.sql file to apply the required edits. I know it might look uh, confusing at first, but no worries. Just follow my instructions and this step should go over smoothly. First off, we need to make changes to this section here, the hashtag, as you can see, segment of the code. Uh, we'll select this part and hit Control plus F. Uh, key on the keyboard or command plus F on a Mac OS to replace all the instances with the required table prefix in your database. At this stage, we'll go over to the WP config section of our host and copy the table prefix on a WordPress back here. Now, in our WP config, we'll head to the, uh, to, uh, to the table prefix section to figure out uh, what uh, ours is. Most WordPress hosts use the WP uh, underlying prefix, but that varies for other providers. We'll copy our prefix and paste in the replace field. It found 31 instances for us, almost forgot. We don't need the underline in there since there is already one in the code. We'll hit replace all to make the change and as you can see, all the table prefixes have been changed to a required prefix. As you can see, each section defines a specific create table for dates events, occurrences, and etc. On to the next step, we'll have to change the collate um, to the phrase suggested in our documentation. Um, we have to replace char set and it doesn't work um, and, and it's, it doesn't work. Then you should try with the other phrase. So, I'll be replacing char set, if, or car set, I don't know what to uh, pronounce it, with UTF-8 and B4. Heading back to Visual Studio Code, we'll select char set and find it to replace all with our copied phrase. The changes have gone through and now to do the same with uh, collate. We'll head back to the Monomous Calendar, copy the suggested phrase and paste it in the replace field. It's important that you respect the order in both replacement uh, steps. So if you've, gone, if you've gone with MB4, the first one should be selected for collate 2, and if, if you've gone with UTF-8, then the second one should be copied for collate. We'll paste it here. 13 instances have been found and we'll hit replace all once more. Our file is now ready to be used in our database. To do that, we'll copy all of the code and head over to our database to replace the old one. Or, or old ones, I mean.
head over to phpMyAdmin from your host panel and find the database related to Mac. But before that, let's make sure to get a backup or export our data so that if anything goes wrong, we have a restore point to get back uh, to it. Once that's done, we'll head to the Structure menu and find the tables related to Mac. We've got six here that are related to Mac. Now, choose Drop from the drop-down menu to delete the tables and hit Yes to finalize it. As you can see, the MAC tables are no longer available in our database. Our next step is to manually add or fix tables. Head to the SQL menu and paste the code that we had copied from Visual Studio and hit Go. Thankfully, our tables have been successfully recreated without any issues. Let's uh, head to the database just to make sure. And there you have it. The fixed tables have been added again. Let's check back on Manam's calendar on our WordPress to see if that did the trick. Um, but we see that it still says no event found. Let's head over to our event and hit the update button so that the events information is re-indexed in our database. And with that, we have got all daily repeat instances of our event being shown correctly. Before we finish off, sometimes when we are copying our code in the SQL section, it might return an error. In which case, we'll copy the SQL code part by part inside our database separately, and that will resolve the issue. Thank you for staying with me throughout this troubleshoot session. I hope that you've been able to solve this common issue with the help of our video, so make sure to like the video if you liked it, leave us a comment on which issue you'd like to see a video made for in the future, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future helpful videos that are uploaded. If you are still having issues, make sure to head over to our support platform and create a ticket to receive help. See you in the next video.